Good morning, we're gonna start in just a few minutes here. We're gonna let everyone get settled in. First and foremost, good morning and thank you all for joining us in announcing our latest health and fitness initiative, Active Edinburgh. Here at the City of Edinburgh, we're all about promoting a happier and healthier lifestyle, and we hope that the Edinburgh community events that are up and coming will become a model for others to follow. We are so pleased to be a part of the It's Time Texas Challenge as we pledge to commit to a healthier community. We have with us today our Edinburgh City Council, Mayor Richard Molina. We have Mayor Pro Tem Gilbert Enriquez, Councilman David White, Councilman Johnny Garcia, and not with us today, Councilman Jorge Salinas. And of course, we would not be here without our community partners, and we are so appreciative to have you all here with us today as we make this very exciting announcement. So we would like to thank our community leaders, DHR Health, South Texas Health System, Edinburgh Consolidated Independent School District, South Texas ISD, and Vanguard Academy. And without further ado, here is our mayor, Richard Molina. Good morning. I want to thank our partners right down the street for being here. Um, we have our school board president, Mr. Mike Farias. Mike, thank you for being here. Uh, I see Leo in the crowd of Coach Court Salinas. Uh, thank you guys for being here. This is something that uh, we're excited about. You know, uh, our city manager, Ron Garza, is, uh, is big on working out. So I can tell you where this stemmed from and, and what he does uh, for the city. Very, very active. And uh, speaking of active people, we have an active council member that every time you turn around, he shows up and he's at all the events supporting us and he's always there in my absence. I want to thank him for the job that he does. Uh, council member Johnny Garcia, thank you for being here. We're excited about this new initiative. The health and safety of our residents is the city's top priority. Therefore, we are looking at ways to improve the quality of life of our community. The, act, the active Edinburgh initiative will allow our residents to take part in, like uh, was mentioned earlier, it's time, uh, it's time Texas Community Challenge and other health and wellness programs. I think we made a commitment to get up all the mayor and council were going to get up and meet at 6, 6 a.m., right, with Fern McClarity was, was, a, was a challenge that we had. Uh, today, myself and other community leaders will pledge to join It's Time Texas Community Challenge to encourage our community to stay active during the pandemic. We will also be having our first ever Hometown of Heroes Half Marathon uh, happening on March the 14th, 2021, and let me add that people are very, very excited about this marathon. We have a lot of people that have been waiting for something uh, where they can come out and participate. In order to ensure everyone's safety, all runners must strictly follow the COVID-19 safety guidelines. Another exciting event is a virtual David Chavana 10K. This race will have, has been going on. It's been a tradition for the city of Edinburgh for the past 39 years. And although we will do things differently, we are going to make it happen. Although it will be virtually, it will happen. I also want to remind the community that we have beautiful parks uh, available in our city. And speaking of parks, uh, I know ourselves and the school district have pending parks that we still need to get out here in our beautiful city of Edinburgh. And not to forget uh, a natatorium, which people have been asking us to partner up. And I think we're going to see that finally to fruition here in the next couple of months. Uh, and now, uh, a few words from the person that put a lot of this together and that did the initiative and ran with it with the staff. Uh, none other than I want to bring up our city manager, Mr. Ron Garza. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. So, so you know, obviously, we, we know that a healthy community is a prosperous community. So economic development is something that drives every community, but really at the foundation to that is health and wellness. So we, we truly recognize that. And obviously the city of Edinburgh being such a health care hub uh, with two great facilities, two great organizations bringing great health care, uh, it, it's kind of at the foundation of this. So what Active Edinburgh is, it's really, uh, it's an initiative, it's a project, it's really to really highlight the culture 
that so much of Edinburgh already lives with. So we're, it, it's so nice to see different community partners. We have our school district, Edinburgh School District. We have Vanguard Academy, South Texas Health Systems, DHR is here. Um, UTRGV, Chase, our director of athletics is here. So it's just great to show that we have so much diversity in our community, you know, really geared towards, towards making Edinburgh as healthy as possible. So what we're actually doing with this active Edinburgh, it's really just the umbrella. It's, it's, it's the catchphrase, Active Edinburgh, uh, but we are announcing specific events, and we've really taken each one of these events uh, to heart. So we're going to kind of break them down slowly, but the first one, so there's an organization, It's Time Texas. They've had a community initiative, a community challenge. It's a statewide challenge. Uh, in my previous role on a regional level, um, there was a lot of competitions between the mayors. You know, every, every city likes to have that friendly banter, and it was nice to see friendly banter and competition around who can be the healthiest city. So there's other cities that I won't name that are, are uh, multiple winners on a statewide challenge for their category. Well, we want to make sure that the city of Edinburgh makes it to that list. We want to win. We want to be recognized as a community uh, across the state as a healthy community. So uh, the first initiative that we're going to talk about is the It's Time Texas Community Challenge. Um, their their uh, coordinator and executive director couldn't be here, but we do have a short video announcement that they've made, and we'll talk about this pledge and what It's Time Texas Community Challenge. So uh, could you please cue up the video? Welcome. I'm Melissa Garcia, the RGB Regional Manager at It's Time Texas, the nonprofit working to bring people, communities, and organizations together to take action and support health for all, now and for the generations to come. Thank you for being here today. I'm excited to invite you to the 2021 Community Challenge. It's a free eight-week Live Healthier competition that will inspire you your families, friends, employers, schools, organizations, and municipalities throughout the Valley and the state of Texas to compete for bragging rights as the winner of the Community Challenge. Last year's winners included the cities of McAllen, Hardington, Bastrop, Los Fresnos, and San Antonio. So come on, Edinburgh. We can do this and make health a priority for everyone. Our health has never before been so important. Now's the time to take a step forward. Even in quarantine, we can challenge each other and support one another. Registration is now open and we've made it easier to do so by providing a free mobile app. You can find it in the app store called Community Challenge. There, you can connect with friends, share on social media, your progress and what's happening all around the city of Edinburgh you'll see the leaderboard and your standings. Log your activities and points. Registration is available now at ittcommunitychallenge.com. It is 100% free to register, and you can also get one-of-a-kind gear package for only a $30 fee, which will support the work and the nonprofit of its time tax. We're empowering Texans to live healthier lives and build healthier communities. I invite you to join us and register today. Again, that is www.ittcommunitychallenge.com. Remember, Texas is best when Texans are healthy. Thank you. We'll end today's uh, press conference event with signing our, our regional you know, city of Edinburgh, uh, It's Time Texas Community Challenge Pledge. So we're gonna ask uh, leaders of those organizations that are with us today to, to come up here and sign. So we'll, so we'll end on that. And we're gonna throw different events and websites at, at you. So what we did to make that easy, it's just activeedinburgh.com. It's a clearinghouse of all these events and you can register for everything we're talking about in that simple, simple event. So. The next event I want to talk about is a long-standing event uh, in the city of Edinburgh. Um, and I'll, I'll actually, Leo, you, would you like to come up and, and talk a little bit about it? So uh, it is the All-American City, uh, David Chavara uh, 10K. 
2021 is going to be a virtual edition. Uh, Mr. Reyes is on the 10K board, so I'm going to let him speak a little bit about uh, the plan. Thank you, Ron. Uh, I come before you this morning as the City of Edinburgh 10K uh, President and also Edinburgh CISD Physical Education and Health Coordinator. And in planning for this year's race, we decided that because of COVID-19, we did want to continue the race, but we wanted to be safe. So we decided as a committee to go and do a virtual race, which would be the 10K. And also, we've been very successful in years past in including our students from the school district in the two mile race. Um, and last but not least, we've also had the Miracle Mile, which has been for individuals with disabilities, which we've been fortunate enough to get sponsorship from HEB. So therefore, all three of those races are gonna continue this year, except they're gonna be virtually. In talking to committee members and talking to Mr. Garza, Mr. Javier Garza from the city, we felt that this would, would be a good opportunity to also initiate the It's Time Texas Challenge because students, citizens of Edinburgh could be physically active, getting ready for the race and actually showing proof that they were running and also get credit for the It's Time Texas Community Challenge, which we're doing for the first time. Our school district is really excited to be joining the city of Edinburgh on this community challenge because we know as we start the, 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 uh, the new year, we're always looking at trying to improve our health. And this gives us an opportunity to come together as one to be able to either drink water, eat uh, healthy, and last but not least, to be physically active. We know that employees that are physically active are gonna be more productive in the workplace, and we also know that students that are physically active will, be, will have better attendance and better grades. So we're really excited to do the virtual race, but we're also excited, as Mr. Garza said, that we're gonna be doing for the first time ever the half marathon, and all this plays into what's called Active Edinburgh. So we invite everybody to join us for these events, and we also challenge you to do something healthy as we start the new year. Thank you, David. Appreciate it, sir. So, so that was the 10K, and again, uh, you know, our 10K draws thousands and thousands of, of participants, so uh, we really had no choice but to do that in a virtual standpoint. So uh, we do that, but we want to encourage participation as much as possible. So the next event that we definitely want to highlight and talk a little bit more about is our first annual Hometown of Heroes Half Marathon. So for those non-runners out there, a half marathon is 13.1 miles, so significantly different than a 10K, a six mile run. But you know, for, for the running community in the Valley and specifically for the city of Edinburgh, uh, we've heard from runners and they are just craving an organized race. So we took all the experience that we have doing our action planning for COVID and we came up with a really unique COVID action plan for this half marathon. So the half marathon will be an in-person event. It'll be Sunday, March 14th. Um, and it's going to start at, at the Robert Flores and there, the stadium and our Parks and Rec Department. 13 miles, we, we, I think we highlighted a great course, these 13 miles. You'll see some of the, the, the most beautiful parts of Edinburgh. You're going to go down, Freddie, right into the heart of uh, HEB Park. We're going through HEB Park into our municipal park, one of our highlighted you know, great parks here in the city of Edinburgh. Come right back down that route. Uh, we will have a relay version of that, so we'll have at our library, the relay runners can switch off. Then you'll go down south on, on Klausner, you'll take West Canton, then you'll hit our Jackson Street, our Jackson Road hike and bike trail, and we'll use that hike and bike trail heading north and right uh, past University, we'll cross over University, and we'll take that right heading eastbound uh, right through UTRGV. So UTRGV is also partnering with us. Come right through UTRGV. Uh, we're going to highlight our McIntyre Promenade, so you'll get to run on the promenade around beautiful City Hall, continue on the promenade, around the courthouse, and right back down downtown, back to the, to, to the uh, stadium. So 13 miles, um, and again, very unique. We're gonna, it's not going to be a mass start like you see traditional uh, running events. We're actually going to release one runner every 15 seconds. And again, with that distance and that kind of course being that long loop, We'll have a string of runners, so no group running will be allowed. Water stations will be uh, an unmanned water stations. So we have a lot of protocol in place, but we are very confident that we can do it safely. And I think what we've learned and the period of, of the time that we're addressing COVID right now in our community, 
uh, there's a lot we can still do as long as we do it safely. So we're really, really happy. So, and again, if you notice the name, Hometown of Heroes, uh, we've had that designation. And we're really going to, to highlight the Hometown of Heroes. So something we'll be uh, announcing and going further in the future as we get close to the event. We're going to dedicate every mile so to 13.1 but 13 uh, hometown heroes. So uh, the city council will have an opportunity uh, to select heroes of all types, first responders, medical community, educators, but we're gonna dedicate each mile, 13 miles to 13 heroes in our community. So we're really, really excited about that. So uh, again, to, to register for that one, uh, activeedinburgh.com, that's the easiest way to link to that. So finally, I just wanna talk a little bit about what the city's doing. So part of this, the genesis of this is that over the course of, the, of recently and, and the next year, uh, the city's making a lot of improvements uh, to parks specifically. We're right now uh, about to conclude our comprehensive plan, and we have had a lot of public input, a lot of surveys, and park amenities are the number one thing our community continues to ask for. Hike and bike trails specifically. Safe places to walk. So uh, municipal park, we just added a, a kind of gravel type bike loop almost two miles around municipal park. Uh, we're partnering with a drainage district and irrigation district to add miles of hike and bike uh, uh, amenities. So that is something uh, we'll continue to do. We've added, uh, we're going to add two more dog parks to one that we just opened. So for the first time, the city will have three dog parks. Just all kinds of amenities that we're going to enhance the community to just keep people active, moving, and, and in a safe way. So, and, and also, as part of this challenge, the City of Edinburgh, as an employer, as an organization, we are extending this challenge to our own employees. Almost a thousand employees of the City of Edinburgh, we're going to challenge them and really support them in a way to, to be more active. So we're going to encourage them. We're going to do some things, uh, some events that we'll have for the community next year. Some will be virtual, but almost every weekend we're going to facilitate some type of activity. We're going to do a virtual karate class. We're going to do a walking group. We're going to, again, navigate COVID, but we're really going to lead and do some things for our community. And hopefully uh, when the time is right, we really want to do active festivals where we can bring to get people together specifically for health and wellness, where we can close our streets and let children and those that want to be active on skateboards, bicycles, and just play in the streets, facilitated, of course. So uh, we look forward to a very healthy and happy uh, 2021. Uh, so we wanted to take this opportunity. And what better time? People are doing New Year's resolutions, thinking about the new year. So Active Edinburgh is going to be our umbrella for that. So again, I want to thank all the um, uh, community groups that came with us. This is a community type event. Obviously, I'd like to thank the city council uh, with their full support. Uh, not only, you know, in supporting the efforts like this, but, but financially supporting uh, our community by doing all these uh, park improvements and amenities we're, we're doing. So, so with that... I'm going to hand uh, the mayor first a Sharpie. Now you want to take one of these? Ready? And uh, I will read uh, the, the five bullets. And, and I will say, so this is a modified pledge sheet from the It's Time Texas. So we modified this in a way to be inclusive of all, of all our partners. But this officially kicks off It's Time Texas Community Challenge by everybody signing this pledge they're pledging to encourage our, our Edinburgh community to be, to be healthy, to join this challenge and do whatever they can uh, to continue this health initiative and ask other officials, elected officials, school officials, city leaders, community leaders to participate in this challenge. So, Mayor, you're the first signature there on the top. Thank you, Mayor. So with that, next, I'm going to bring up uh, Council Member Johnny Garcia. He'll be the next uh, signatory there. And we'll have all our council members, when they're present, uh, sign this. Excellent. I got mine here. Uh, I'll be the next signatory, and I'm signing on behalf of the employees of the city of Edinburgh. And I'm a lefty, so. <laughs> okay. 
And then there's spots down here for our community leaders and organizations. So I'm going to invite the organizations, and I'll let, let each organization choose who they'd like to uh, be the signatory. Uh, but each community leader, I'll invite them up one by one, and you'll, you'll sign it and uh, just write in what organization you represent. So, Mr. Farias, would you like to sign first on behalf of the Edinburgh School District? Let me hand you one of these first. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Does it matter where I sign? No, no, no. Okay. Anywhere. We can start left to right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Uh, Dr. Garcia with Vanguard Academy, our superintendent for Vanguard. Thank you. your own sanitizer there. <laughs> you can wipe that. Thank you, sir. Chase, would you like to come up? Chase Conk, our director of athletics for University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Trying to do this as Thank you. Awesome. Uh, South Texas Health Systems, who would like to sign on? There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. DHR, Marcy, who's going to sign on behalf of you? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Did I miss any other organization that's, that's with us here? Yeah, excellent. South Texas ISD? Idea, would you like to come up? Thank you for being here. Thank you. Kenny, did you say South Texas ISD, were they here? No? Okay. Did I miss anybody else? Is Ronnie here by chance with the chamber? Okay. Yeah. What, what, what? Oh, okay. How'd you hide on me? Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. All righty. I think I got everybody. Again, thank you, everybody, for, for joining this effort. Again, uh, please, especially those that signed this, you are ambassadors and champions uh, of this effort. There is no end date to Active Edinburgh. This is something that we really want to highlight, continue, uh, you know, as part of our community, as part of our culture here. So, again, I thank you all for being here. Visit activeedinburgh.com, sign up for It's Time Texas Community Challenge, our virtual 10K, and for those that want to uh, tackle 13.1 miles, our uh, half marathon. So thank you all for attending, and please continue to help us support this initiative. Thank you. <laughs>